Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and I am once again on the western shore of Lake Michigan at one of my favorite spots. Haven't been to this spot um, since before the freeze and thaw, so I'm not sure what's all going to be open. Um, it looks like they got a little bit of snow, and it looks like there's some people down here already. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I have high hopes, so let's find some good stuff. All right, well, the good sign is we got waves, so you know, it looks like, yeah, it looks like we got some shoreline to look at. All right, well, let's see what we can find. By the way, it's uh, February 2nd today, and like I said, it just snowed, so I'm going to have to be careful on all this stuff, but let's do it. Right, so the funny thing is, everything is frozen together right now, like there's a layer on everything. I just found this one. You can see it's covered in ice, but look at all the epidote. I think that would be a really sweet cutter, so I think we're going to take that. Yeah, look, it's totally covered in ice. So everything's going to be like that today, so this should be interesting. All right, let's find some more. Just found these couple. This is kind of like a banded, maybe sandstone, maybe some jasper in there. Just really cool. Probably be able to see it a little better with a little better light, maybe. And then just one little stromatoporoid, maybe with some favocytes in there too. So cool little finds. Yeah, this is really interesting. Uh, searching through rocks that are all frozen together. It's kind of it's kind of fun actually. But as you can see, I, there's no dry rocks for me to look at today. It's all covered in snow, so I'm gonna have to just hit all this shoreline, which is fine with me. But it is only in the high 20s right now, um, so I don't know how long I'm gonna last, but we'll find out. So I see one berry right there. I don't know if I'm able to get it out though. Oh yeah, perfect. Get back up out of the waves here. It looks like a cool banded shirt. Cleaned off here. There you can kind of tell. It's a really cool piece. Just a brown banded shirt, basically, but it's got some nice bands in there. That might actually shine up. I'll probably take that. All right, let's find some more on this crazy thing. I don't know if that's green shirt in basalt or what's going on with this thing. It's very green, though. I don't know. It's definitely basalt, or maybe that's black shirt. Maybe it's just a big nodule of green shirt. I don't know, I might have to take that one home and cut it just to see what that actually is. All right, onward. All right, a couple more. This is just like a crazy yellow, and I think that's all just quartz in there, like a brescia. I think I kind of want to split this thing in half and see if that looks really cool on the inside, so I might keep that one. And we got this little piece of favocytes. It's got some metallic going on in it, maybe. Pretty worn, though. Cool. And then we got this little guy, just a slice of stromatoporoid. And then right on the top here, it's just maybe wanting to try to be a cold water agate right there. Tiny, tiny little pocket. All right, onward. Okay, so I just found these two in the same spot. Sweet stromatoporoid, lots and lots and lots of layers all the way around. So that will probably be a really good polish one. You know, maybe a little pitting. And then right next to it was this thing sitting. And I was like, oh, what's that? And I flipped it. And boom. Look at that pocket. Look at the banding on the outside of that. And maybe some moss on the inside. Look at that. Awesome. Let's find some more like that. Two more here. This is just a very stony piece of arachnophyllum. You can kind of tell the patterning on the side there, but the telltale sign of arachnophyllum is that right there, all the stumps, all the rugo stumps. So that's cool. And then I did find a halfway decent mudstone. You know, it's a little plain up here with the banding, but I might be able to get some really good cross sections out of that. So I might keep it, I might not. We'll see what I keep today. All right, pretty good day so far, so uh, let's keep it up. More little finds. Nice little piece of variolite. It's actually got pretty solid backside on it, so that's not a not a bad one right there. 
And then I found this crazy piece of probably mostly chert, but it's got like some green epidote stuff going on. And then maybe a cold water pocket running right down through the middle of it. Really cool piece. Might be one to just cut right through the middle, see if that cold water is in there, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, onward. It's loaded here today. So I just found these two right next to each other. It's a nice piece of, you know, solidified favocytes, so maybe with some cold water in there. And then this one was right next to it. Another one just totally silica rich favocytes all the way through. Got some horizontal banding on there, maybe a little pocket right there. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere here today. It must all be fresh. Fresh. All right, let's keep going. I'm just walking. And I just saw this. Let's see if I can get it between the waves. Look at that thing. I'm gonna go get that thing once I can here. Ooh, right now. Oh. Ah. Look at that. Just a solid spermatophoroid all the way through. Really thick perfect cutter maybe even a good one to make like a big free form out of awesome let's find some more more little nice ones this is a nice little piece of syringe pora. you can't really tell you can kind of tell from the that's kind of the well, actually this might be a chain oh yeah this is a chain chain coral not syringe pora. kind of hard to tell sometimes but there you can tell the linked linked together so that's a cool little piece. And then I found this little guy, which I thought was just some stromat. And she's got a nice little cold water pocket in it. If I can get the light on it right, you can see that there's actually band, like two or three bands in that thick white stripe right there. I don't think I can get it though. I'll show you that one at the end for sure. All right, let's find a couple more like that. Just a couple more before we hit the end of the beach and turn around here. Just a cool little conglomerate or brushia probably, bigger pieces. So that's a cool little one, I love those. And then, found this beast. Look at that, all the way through and then it's got shirt there, so there might be like a contrast in the middle if I cut that thing. It's like perfectly square. Oh, maybe a little fossil or something right there. Maybe a little pocket right there. So yeah, that's an awesome piece. All right, so I'm going to turn around, and uh, I'm sure I'll have some more stuff to show you. The first couple steps on the way back from this monster. Look at this thing. So awesome. So many today. It's unbelievable. Like I said, it must all be fresh, but that's a really good one there. All that detail and contouring. Sweet. Let's find a couple more. Urbanite. So a couple last things and then I'll be back to the car. Just a nice little yellow stromatoporoid. You know, I always try to keep the yellow to try to get yellow cross sections. A lot of times they clear up, but so there's that one. And then I found this little guy with this big druzy pocket in it. Maybe, maybe a cold water pocket running all the way through, but really cool druzy pocket. So I did find a bunch of other stuff, but my hands were getting cold. So I will get home, get everything cleaned up, and we'll see you in a minute. So I'm home, I got everything cleaned up. I'll just go over what I got here a little bit. So first for the stromatoporoids, we got some really nice ones today. We got this huge, huge piece. Nice and thick, a lot of layers. Be able to get tons of slabs out of this or maybe a big freeform piece, like a big obelisk or something. Then we got this really thick, Nice wispy one, a lot of different textures and stuff going on in this one as well. So another really good slabber. You know, the slabs will come out all totally unique with that wispiness on there, really cool. And then yet another one just like that. You can actually see it a little better on this one, just all the craziness going on. So those were three really, really good ones. You know, a little bigger size than normal that I find. And then this one too is just a really nice solid one. You know, nice square, good size for, you know, making a project out of of some kind. Then I did keep, let's see, just one fossil. Um, here, let me get this thing wet a little bit. Uh, one really nice piece of chain. Like, look at that face right there. You can just totally tell. And then you got the side view on the side of it. 
the chains on the back again and then the side view on the other side so just a full yeah in there another different side view with a lot more of those horizontal lines going through the tubes so that's really awesome so a really good piece of chain definitely going to shine that thing up then we got this really intricate mudstone um, hopefully all you know a lot of those lines come through to the middle but that's definitely going to be a cutter then this one that's just covered in epidote you know there's a few quartz lines going through there i just want to get some slabs out of this too see if i can get any of that green through there um you know if i can it'll it'll be really awesome it's hard to get that green really deep in there but we'll try it they got another one of those crazy brescias with the all different colors of chert and like sandstone really crazy this is like the third or fourth one of these i found first orange one though found some green and some blue and some gray like this but first one with orange so that was awesome then can't go on a hunt without getting some quartz bombs so here's just a white bomb and then a little pinkish hued uh, one probably not a rose quartz but just had a little pinkish hue to it then i got this little conglomerate or brescia just because i like keeping little ones like this i just like the the texture and the patterning in those got one little piece of very light really nice though um really good representation there and then the whole back is like you know layered very light on top of itself so it's like you can see all the different textures and bumps so a really cool one and then we got this nice piece that had this nice druzy pocket in it and here i'll get it wet i just wanted you to see it dry so you can see that pocket it's got kind of that whole pocket running all the way through the whole thing so that's a really cool piece that'll go in my little pocket collection then on to the last stuff this is just the agate stuff um this one just had that really nice pocket right there uh, i'm not sure if that's just going to be a little shallow pocket or what a um, little bit of banding on the bottom there maybe you know hard to tell what i'm going to do with that one I, I wouldn't think that's going to go in very deep but maybe i'll try to cut this you know maybe i'll try to cut some long slabs out of it or something because it'll probably look cool either way without the cold water in there when well, there's maybe a couple little bands right there too yeah i don't know what we'll do with that one just a cool piece then this monster which had this big pocket going all the way through and then it's got like some moss coming through there on the end i don't know just a really cool piece some spread of white in there for sure you can see the layers there of that and they're just really cool one really weird shaped pocket this one not sure if it's agar or if it's just you know a bunch of different consistency quartz or chert then with this limonite stain something running throughout the whole thing just really cool looking like just look at that like those weaving patterns in there so not sure again not sure if i'd maybe try to tumble this or maybe cut through it see what's actually on the inside of it that's probably what i'll do then let's see we got this little guy which just has a lot going on um is it cold water egg i don't know you know it could be a lot of just fossily stuff stacked on top of each other there's a little bit of banding right there it's just got a lot going on then you flip it it's kind of maybe got some agate white right there just a lot of craziness going on so it's probably just a mixture of fossil and maybe some cold water and then the last but not least we got this little white nodule we got this kind of thick little eye right there with some blue around the edges and then i think that pocket probably comes through and that's the other end of it right there see the little bands in there a little white so i don't know maybe i'll try to go right through the middle of this maybe that'll pop out right in the middle that would be sweet yeah so all in all not too bad of a find um for being february 2nd so if you like this video leave a like <clears throat> hit subscribe if you haven't already stay tuned for a couple close-ups at the end and we'll see you in the next one bye bye